Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having an amazing day. It is July 10th, 2014, and this is the facts of the matter. A simple approach to dig deeper into God's Word. If you want to dig deeper into God's Word, then try this simple approach. Choose a short passage of scripture, then 1. Read the passage. We'll use Matthew chapter 9, 9 through 13, for example. And as Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the receipt of custom. And he saith unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. Verse 10. And it came to pass, as Jesus sat at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. 11. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? 12. But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that behold, they that be whole, need not a physician, but they that are sick. 13. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy, and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Two, record the facts. In verse 9, And as Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the receipt of custom. And he saith unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. Jesus tells Matthew to follow him. Matthew obeys. Verse 10, and it came to pass, as Jesus sat at meat in a house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. Jesus and his disciples have dinner with Matthew and his friends, tax collectors and sinners. Verse 11. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? The Pharisees questioned Jesus' disciples as to why he ate with such people. And verses 12 and 13, But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. Verse 13, But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy, and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Jesus heard about it and responds. The sick, not the healthy, need a doctor. God desires mercy over religious observance, sacrifice. And Christ came not to call the righteous, but sinners. 3. Reflect. Reflect on the implications of the facts for our life. I wonder if I am an immediate and responsive I wonder if I if I am as immediate and responsive to Jesus call to discipleship as Matthew. When Jesus said, "Time, it's time. Let's go." Did you jump right into his arms and say, here I am, take me? Or did you fight him? At first I did. And then I rebelled like crazy. And I said, no, I don't want none of that. I never denounced my salvation. But I refused to acknowledge what I had to do. 
Do I still have lost friends whom I am introducing to Jesus, as did Matthew? Matthew brought all the publicans and sinners and that with him. You know, they followed him. He didn't, so per se, bring them, but they followed him and introduced him to Jesus. All those lost friends that you have, the non-believers, the ones that might believe but say, nah, I'm I'm going to wait because I want to do what I want now. Are you introducing them to Jesus even though they don't want to accept him yet? Four, respond by applying one of the implications to your life. I am convinced that I have not been more active in introducing my lost friends to Christ. Within two months, one will have a dinner party for several of them and plan to share how Christ has changed my life. And that's, um, I will have a dinner party for several of them. And plan to share how Christ has changed my life. For future practice, you may want to try the following passages. John, chapter 18, verses 1 through 11. Psalm, chapter 23. Yeah, the whole chapter. I believe it's a very short one. Let me pull it up real quick. It's a six verses, so yeah, it's a short one. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verses 18 through 20. Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 through 7. Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 through 16. John chapter 18 verses 15 through 18 and then also John chapter 18 verses 25 through 27 and the last one for you to you know prep for further practice that you may want to try Revelation chapter 1 verses 12 through 18 So here's a simple approach to help you learn how to dig deeper into God's Word. You choose a short passage. You read that passage. Record the facts. Reflect on the implications of facts for our life. You respond by applying those facts to the implication of your life. And that is the facts of the matter for July 10th, 2014. Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord have mercy on us all. I love you guys so very much. God bless.